where the basin is big enough to hold 21 boats at the same time. The narrow boats were used to transport the livestock out to customers along the canal network. And Galton Bridge were built in 1829 by the great engineer Thomas Telford in 17. So he was born 1757, died 1834. Foster Rash Chicken Company in 1828. It was the first locomotive to be operated in the United States and one of the first locomotives to operate outside of Britain. find the far back of the church is always beautiful stained glass windows. So welcome back everybody to Explore the Black Country. Back with another video today. So just by the side of me is Cozy Tunnel which is a nice little section that I wanted to show you during this episodic adventure. It's a place that I've been many times before but never had the chance to film all the way through it. It is similar to a uh, Neverton Tunnel but it is much uh, shorter in length. So I am going to tell you a bit of history now about this uh, section here and also the canal and a bit about the tunnel. So just standing by the entrance of Cozy Tunnel, just right the way down there as you can see, a barge has just passed through. You can see the barge going towards the other entrance and out the other side. Bit of information here, it does say here the original Birmingham Canal, known as the Old Main Line, had a drawback which was the extra 10 miles or so that had to be covered by circus route around the high ground in Cosley. In 1824, Thomas Telford was engaged to survey a canal to bypass much of the route through Bradley and go directly through Cosley. An act for building of the canal was passed in June 1835 and work soon got underway. Telford decided to tunnel under part of Cozy in a 360 yard brick line tunnel with a deep cutting at either end. The tunnel was built with a brick surface towpath on the either side of the canal so that both could pass one uh, another in the tunnel without waiting a queue. The section from deep fields to balloon field included a tunnel opened on the 6th of November 1837. The new main line was completed in April 1838, so it's seven miles shorter than the original route and very straight. So as you can just see, standing uh, just right by the side of me now, he is all the way through Cozy Tunnel. We're going to have an explore in a minute and I will show you all the way through. But there is some uh, other interesting things that have happened here in, in the past, going back way, way back a bit. And I don't know if many of you have heard of a lady called Hannah Johnson Cox. And she actually murdered the two children just down one of the entrance parts of this tunnel on the Birmingham Canal. So it does say about this lady, uh, Hannah Johnson Cox, there's a photo of here for you of who Hannah Johnson Cox is. Um, so this is actually dating to the 25th of July 1901 when she was actually sentenced. So the place was Birmingham Canal, Cozily, which is where we are right now. Hannah Johnson Cox murdered her two children on the 14th of June. She drowned them in the Birmingham Canal at Cozily. The court heard that she had been deserted by her husband and was destitute. She was found guilty but insane. So it is a quite an interesting little story. There is more information if you dig into the archives online telling you about the husband, you know, the daughter's names. It is really interesting. But what I want to do now is have a quick walk through and go and show you what Cozy Tunnel is actually like inside. Got Jules down there, she's trying a bit of an investigation. Obviously, because people have had experiences down here before. It is a bit of a creepy tunnel actually. But I'm interested in the architecture and the way this is actually built. You've got some like silicon stuff forming on the wall. Similar to Neverton Tunnel. 
So right, looking right the way up, you can just see this is the other entrance in, which is where we are right now. Got a path up to there. That canal bends round, it goes all the way up to the Bilston Way, further one, then up to the Wolverhampton section. Right, let's go have a look up here. Wow, I mean, look at the, uh, look at this stuff growing onto here. A lot of bizarre things growing on the wall. And it is really old, there is a few bricks missing into Cozy Tunnel. And you can obviously tell as well with this how old the um, the rails I'm just here, the chipping away. Wow, absolutely freezing down here. You can tell here as well. Look at the uh, the rails here, absolutely chipping. Go and take a look at the wall. You can see there is a bit of new bricks into it, so maybe they've done some slight repairs over the past. You can see the mortar in the walls, look. Wow. And it is quite cool that you see with this uh, tunnel, same as Neverton, the ceiling has got like a bit of a dark colour, so you can see where it splits off where the darkish colour up there, and then you've got like the normal brick on each side of the walls, look. That is quite cool, that is. I have a bit of a further walk down. So, I just got my torch on. And you can tell because it's on the look of the floor, it is like a brick path look. If I get a better view just to show you, look at that. It's got a lot of like soil and dirt on top of it. The walls full of spider webs into it. Look at the spider webs, get a better angle to show you. I will show you down the bottom those spider webs, absolutely crazy. Wow, look at that. The big spider in there, I don't have to show it yet. Just literally hiding right the way through, look. I don't have to see it, it's a big hole in there. More spider webs, look. There's something in there, it's like a millipede or something. That's all the, uh, the stuff coming off the wall, look. Look at that. All the way through, the brick's so old. All this stuff's coming out. And you can see how many spider webs and more further on, look. With into the walls. You might be able to see it a bit better from there, look. It's quite a with the spider webs. Look at the spider there. A lot of shedding of a spider. Look at that. I need to see it. Loads of them, loads of spider sheddings. One there where I'm putting the light. Wow. Look at that one. All in there. I think there's a spider in there. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> and then we've got this um, like mould stuff going on the wall, so if you want to identify that, then drop it into the comments. I know Neverton Tunnel has a similar vibes with this like uh, black mould stuff. I will show you when we get to the Neverton Tunnel video. I'm doing a full uh, length one on this. So. Oh. And you can just see up there, I mean, there's like little like, silicon things just hanging from the ceiling. And the walls at the back look how they've gone like uh, white. So I do think with when the wall actually goes white, I, I was sure that I was told um, there's a bit of limestone present, I think, when I went on the Dudley, uh, the Dudley tour, the very last time I ever went on it. The man actually told me about uh, the wall when you see like white forming, it can also indicate there's limestone behind it. Say all this white stuff, so is it calcite stuff on yeah, the walls? Yeah, it's calcite. Um, so it's uh, quite rough. It's the closest thing you'll get to touching human bone. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just rain water, roughly through the limestone, it finds its way into the tunnel. Yeah. But it can tell you what's behind it to the walls. So if it's pure white, there's lime, uh, limestone. Oh. If it's uh, orange to blood red, yeah. uh, iron ore. If it's black, uh, it's cold. 
which is a yellowish colour, like that not really the sun. Yeah. Um, so so no, um, because I've been down Neverton Tunnel, which is similar. Neverton Tunnel's got yeah. the, it's got like white lines all down the wall. Yeah, that's that's uh, limestone. Limestone. Oh well. So it is quite interesting. And just up there, the ceiling's gone white. Look, like more like silicon things forming from the top, and like little icicle things, water dripping from them, right the way into the canal. So I think we're about uh, 100 and something metres in now. I think we can have a zoom up there. Let's have a quick zoom to show you. Look at the ceiling, look at that. You can just see like that white stuff, how it's formed. It's been dripping down. It's obviously forming as it's dripping. Look at that. Wow. So it is quite interesting cosy tunnel, you can imagine how far it dates back and the history of what I told you at the start, Thomas Telford, the way he put the uh, the canal to go right under Cosley. So it is a uh, quick access to get one side to the other. Oh, big spider web there, spiders have gone right the way in, what I'm looking at right now into that wall, you see the holes look, the big one in there then. Oh. Big moth, look at the moth, it's hanging from there. I think I'm about to see it. Got some more uh, silicon stuff, look on the wall, like a white colour. Absolutely loads of it, you can tell by how the water's been dripping, look. Wow. Wow, oh, that's a big spider. Look at that thing. Get a bit of a light to show you. Really big. So yeah, just coming down, you can just see, look at the wall. I mean, there's quite a few uh, bricks missing, look. I'm going to put my torch there. You can just see it a bit better from that angle. A few bricks missing that I fell out. There's a big, uh, big chunk up there, what's missing, look. And a few there. Right. 
it's walking down though. I mean, you can just see at the bottom, look where the uh, the bricks have been uh, falling down and off, look. So all this, uh, some of it's collapsed and come onto the side of the path. A lot of it here where the water's dripping, look. And there, look as well. Look at that. It's quite dangerous, that is. And a lot of it up there, it's a big chunk what's actually fell out from the top. Look up to there. So we're nearly coming out of a cosy tunnel now. But you can see a good example of the uh, the path. You can see a bit of the brick look just onto there. It's quite cool though. And looking back from where we come from, you can just see the depths of the tunnel look. Shine my torch right the way down. Nice little explore. It's just nice to come down something different for a change. But you see that is really quite dangerous. And you can just see the colours of the brick. Look at that. You imagine how old some of this brick actually is when they placed it in. Wow, look at that lot. Even more spider webs covering that side of the wall, look. It's absolutely completely filled. I'm going down. That is quite cool. So right, this is the end of Cozy Tunnel now, we're coming out to the other entrance. Which now brings us on the canal line, that goes all the way to Birmingham. But you can just see all the water drips on the ceiling, if I get a bit closer. So I've got to put this camera away in a second. Look at all these water drips from the ceiling, look. Look at that. Just literally shining down. Got a bit of a better angle there though. And look on the ceiling. That is quite cool. Yeah, coming a bit further away through, look at the walls into here. Just absolutely completely filled with uh, moss. A lot of water dripping, look at the water drips. Where's that going to? Call this moss. You can just see, just listen to the water drops here, there's even more, look at the ceiling. Absolutely loads coming down. If I zoom in, you can just see, look. Look at all that. Wow. All dripping down, look. Onto the path. So yeah, that's pretty much a cosy tunnel. If I just quickly zoom in, look at that lot coming down. I've got absolutely soaked going all the way through that. But you can just see where that's actually coming down. It's helping a lot of moss to actually grow. And you can see here as well, there's a lot of plants growing on the walls and coming out the concrete, look. With all the moisture and all the wet look on the wall. You can see how all this damp it here, look. Coming all the way from the top. Well, these are quite old, these are like old like, metal things, look. A few there. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that little explore. That has been really quite interesting. Uh, coming to something different for a challenge because I wanted to show you Cozy Tunnel for quite a while, and I've got my chance to do it in this episode. But wow, absolutely fantastic! So I will quickly teach you a bit of more history about it. I'm gonna have a quick look and then I'll explain a bit more about Cozy Tunnel. So there is a little bit more information about it, if I quickly zoom in, it's just a little bit, um, let's have a look here. So the approaches to a tunnel were cut by 1829, so you can just see around the 1800s when this uh, cosy tunnel was actually constructed. And the underground construction carried out during 1835. In 1837 the 360 yard, 329 metre tunnel with a towpath each side opened. Now both the North Portal in Ivy House Lane and the South Portal in School Street are Grade 2 listed. So that's pretty much why they've actually uh, kept
kept it the way it is, uh, restored some of it because it's actually a grey listed tunnel. Um, industrial traffic has given way to leisure transport on the Birmingham Canal, uh, Wolverhampton level. So it is pretty interesting, you've got it here, just reading a bit more, I'll tell you this little bit. The Birmingham to Wolverhampton Canal was cut in 1769-72 to 72 by engineer James Brindley and followed the land's natural contours. This original course was to consequently quite winding and lay to the east of the present route. So a bit of information on the canal there for you, but what an interesting day. So stay tuned for the next episode where we will be taking a look a bit further on. We are going to be planning to go even further down the BCM mainline in a few episodes. Also look at Neverton Tunnel and uh, furthermore for you. So I can't wait to get to that point. But thank you very much for watching and see you soon on the next episode.